Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple to use and intuitive screen recording tool that you can use in Windows 11. In this video, we're going to talk about Wondershare Demo Creator. We've talked about Wondershare Demo Creator before, but it has received some updates, some new features, also AI powered tools are integrated into the software. And maybe I'm going to do multiple videos in the near future about its features. But in this video, we're going to focus on the recording section of Demo Creator. And we're going to see how we can use this software to level up our recording in Windows. Windows 11. When you open up the software, you're going to notice that the main interface is pretty simple. You have here, of course, video recorder and video editor alongside with uh, recent projects, Cloud Drive and Academy. As I've said in this video, we're going to focus on the recording function. And here you're going to be able to see the edited projects and also the recorded files. So let's click on video recorder and you're going to notice that you have multiple options, the screen, screen and camera, camera, game, virtual avatar and video presentation. So we're just going to go through pretty much all these options and see what are the differences. For the beginning, let's select screen and you're going to notice that we're going to have this area of the desktop selected and we have here the resolution. We can lock it or unlock it. For example, let's unlock it and use the resolution 1 to 80 by 720, which is the HD resolution. And we can also lock it. And when we raise up the resolution, it will keep the aspect ratio. Of course, if you select screen, you can always select something else from here. So it's no problem. You have the select screens button and basically Basically, you can select full screen, custom selection, which we've done here, capture window, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram standard, and more. And we also have the select windows button. If we have certain apps opened, we can select them. For example, let's open up the Google Chrome browser and then select the window. As you can see, we have the option to select the Google Chrome window. So I think that is pretty good. We have the recording button, of course, the camera, which we can select if we want, the microphone, the system audio, which we can turn on or turn off by a single click. We also have the the schedule option which will allow us to schedule a recording so for example we we'll leave our computer open we can select the start time the end task and the recording settings for example the same custom settings that we've selected have recording export express and open folder and also the export directory and we also have settings which will allow us to play around with our recordings as well so for example we have the export configuration fast merge or track separation think track separation is better if you want to edit your videos using demo creator later on after recording. We also have the option to disable the three second countdown before recording. And during recording, we can auto hide controls and also enable GPU acceleration for recording. We can also remove the recording panel from the video and also remove the webcam from the screencast video after recording, which will be applied automatically. We have the file recorder files location, also default whiteboard snap folder. For example, here recorder files location, let's select desktop and then click on select folder. Now in video, we have frame rate, let's select 60 frames per second and also the encoder H2 64 is the basic one which everyone uses so let's just select the quality on high we should be good to go on webcam of course if you have a webcam you can select it and you also have the shortcuts so f9 f10 to start pause or stop the video and other options as well full screen add marker spotlight highlight cursor effect and more let's save the settings and start our recording as you can see we have the three second countdown and we can do certain things on our recording now if we click on these buttons we're going to notice that we have multiple options to play around here we have the basic cursor we have the pen which we can use to draw certain things on our recording screen as you can see we can increase the size or the thickness of our pen which is pretty nice we also have the highlighting tool which we can use to highlight basically it will keep the translucent effect so for example let's open up the settings app let's say i'm doing a tutorial let's select the default cursor again let's click on the clear drawing button and if we go to highlight and then yellow let's for example highlight this recommended settings and we highlighted that as you can see with the translucent effect we can add text if we want here as easy as that I think this is pretty good we can also add shapes circle rectangle arrows and more let's for example add an arrow here we can also add lines we can also use the eraser if we're not happy with something just click on things don't need to drag your cursor around we also have spotlight which we can use in our recording process we can spotlight something on our recording of course I think this is pretty useful we also have the whiteboard which we can use in our video to write something for example if we want it's pretty simple and we can access it later and we also have the undo button the clear drawing and of course mark if we want to mark something on our video let's select the default cursor we have the pause button of course delete and re-record and stop recording let's stop recording and you're gonna notice that the editor is loading as i've said in this video we're focusing on how to record using wondershare demo creator so we're not gonna edit our video but I'm just gonna show you a glimpse of how the demo creator editor looks maybe in a later video we're gonna see how to use it in order to create our videos also using the new ai functions that they've added recently as you can see 
see our recording was automatically imported in our editor with the two tracks, the video and the audio track. Now let's go back to the video editor. We're not gonna go in depth with the screen camera, camera or game because it's pretty much the same. But let's now select virtual avatar and see what we can do here. Now as you can see, our avatar is loading and this is how it looks. We can select an avatar if we want. For example, let's select this one. This is good if you don't want to show your face. So I think it's pretty nice. We can also select a background if we want the solid black or the solid white, but transparent is better. I think and put it wherever we want. And we also have the teleprompter, which we can use to start typing or import some certain things. Of course, the recording process will be pretty much the same. And let's record for a bit. And once we stop the recording, we're going to notice that this will be automatically opened into the preview recording thing. We can play it and see how it looks. We can quick export, we can re-record or we can see advanced editing, which will open up our recorded video inside Wondershare Demo Creator Editor. Now, if we go into the last section of the video recorder, we also have video presentation, which is a whole other part of the software, which I think is pretty useful. So as you can see, this is a very, very complex screen recording tool for Windows 11. I think it's pretty useful if you ask me. As you can see, now we have to select a program window to share. So for example, let's open up a software. Let's select the notepad thing. As you can see, we can do a very quick presentation if we want with this. We have streaming and we of course have the buttons for the camera, microphone, and also speakers. And we can also select the background and the teleprompter. For example, let's select this background, which is default or this one, no issues. And we also have settings in the right side here with some general settings that we can use. And when we start recording, we're going to be able to do this presentation really easily. Of course, we also have the drawing tools, which we can use to draw on our presentation. Now let's stop the recording and this will be automatically again opened in the preview recording button. We can re-record, quick export or advanced editing, which will yet again open up our recorded video inside Wondershare Demo Creator. So this is how you can record your computer screen using Wondershare Demo Creator. I think this is a pretty useful software and a simple to use software. If you want to check it out for yourself, make sure to go into the description below. You're going to have more info about Wondershare Demo Creator there. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.